If you thought you had low water pressure, maybe not. It could be as simple as a hidden part in your shower head. I'm going to tell you what it is and how to take care of it coming up next. everybody, I'm Liam C.J. Drill, and if uh, this is your first time here, can I just say welcome to you. We're a home improvement channel where beginners are welcome as well. Now I was talking about a hidden part in a shower head that may be responsible for your low water pressure. And what it's called is it's called a flow restrictor. Now I'm taking off the shower head to show you just how easy it is to get to the flow restrictor and what it looks like. Now I also want to mention, if you notice, I've covered up the fixture with a rag so I don't scratch the finish, and you may want to do the same. So here's our shower head. I've removed it. I'm going to flip it over so you can see what we've got going on here. Now right here, that little black round thing, that's our washer. And we're going to remove that. I'm going to take a pair of needle nose pliers. I'm going to just wedge that out of there. There we go. I'm going to take it out like that. Now, you know, you can remove these washers by hand if you, if you can do that. Or a screwdriver. Just try really hard not to damage the rubber because we're going to reuse this. Now, if you look inside the shower head, you're going to see a little plastic wheel there. And if you notice, there's like an X. That's our flow restrictor. And to pull that out of there, we're going to take our needle nose pliers and we're just going to insert the needle nose pliers inside. And then we're just going to grab it and pull it out. There we go. Pretty simple, right? Now let's take a look at this thing. Now what I will tell you about these flow restrictors, they're just plastic, but we're going to flip it over because I want you to see something. That is how small the opening is that the water is spraying out of. And that's what makes these water restrictors really great at conserving water, but pretty lousy when it comes to providing, well, a great shower. Now are you wondering why there's even a such thing as a flow restrictor? It has to do with water conservation, and manufacturers since 1992 have had to install flow restrictors in their shower heads so you don't use as much water. They want to keep water consumption down to 2.5 gallons per minute. Okay, now that our restrictor is removed, let's just reinsert our washer, just like that, and just stick it in there. Now all we have to do is reattach our shower head to our shower arm. Now before I attach the shower head, I'm just going to wrap the threads here with a little plumber's tape. So just make certain that you apply that plumber's tape clockwise. You don't want to do counterclockwise because when you go to screw in the shower head, it'll just back the plumber's tape right off the threads, which is to make certain that your, your fixture doesn't leak. If you decide to remove the flow restrictor and you're thinking, well, the experience is going to be like, well, a tropical storm. Well, not quite, but you definitely are going to feel the difference. This is Leah saying, you can do this. See you next time.